Hello, the following exclusive interview is presented by H.S. Clark, author of Secret Thoughts and Medical Thriller. For more interviews and information on Secret Thoughts and Medical Thriller, visit hsclarkmystery.com. This is Author Spotlight featuring August McLaughlin, author of In Her Shadow. We're here in beautiful Monterey at the Left Coast Crime Mystery uh, Conference, and um, this is August McLaughlin, and I had the pleasure of having August uh, on our panel today. That was the Thrills and Chills Medical and Psychological uh, Thrillers, and we had a great time with the panel. And August has a new uh, book out. I want to show this to you. This is uh, In Her Shadow. And why don't you start by telling us a little bit about it, August? Sure. Um, it's a psychological thriller, and it's very loosely based on my own experience overcoming a eating disorder. And I wrote it partly because I'd already written a memoir, just for my own personal reasons. And I didn't really feel the need to publish it. There are other great books about eating disorders, and I've read thrillers since I was a little kid. And anorexia, especially, is a, it's a terrifying disease. You can't really make it like a romantic comedy yeah, how, or something. How do you, how do you make a, a, a fun, flowing uh, mystery novel out of something that that, that that is quite serious? Sure, you know, and obviously, even though they're, they're is truth in it, and I have social reasons for writing it, emotional reasons. I wanted it to be a good story. At the heart of it, it's really about uh, a family, you know, a family who is uh, fighting through some, to, to salvage their own lives, to uh, seek truth about their family, and at, at the end of the day, really to, to survive and, and live loving, happy lives. You know, it, so, it takes place in Minnesota, which is where I'm from. Um, the main character is a psychologist. I'm not a psychologist. I've had a lot of therapy, and uh, my sister. What That's the other end of psychology, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. and uh, which is good research. One of it my is, sisters sure. is a therapist, and uh, I really respect the field. Um, so you know, and actually, the dog is based on two dogs that I've had. In my all right, life. all right. But the story itself, um, a lot of it, you know, I was never. There's a woman who's, who's locked up in a basement and who's trapped. I was never locked in a basement. You know, a lot, some of the really extreme scenarios right, didn't right. happen to me. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, but, uh, you know, there's there's truth in it. But I, my main goal was to tell a good story. So well, I didn't try to, like, well, I, 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 I think in there. I think, um, uh, it's, you know, having therapy in order to do research is a very unique way as an author <laughs> to approach uh, writing. Well, writing, in writing hindsight, novel. it was research. <laughs> in know? hindsight. You, yeah. didn't, you didn't tell them that at the time. Okay. I didn't realize that's what it was. Uh, so uh, tell us a little. Tell us a little more about you and um, uh, some of your other things that um, uh, influence you in your life, um, other talents and such. Sure. Uh, well, I'm a health and sexuality writer. So I'm a journalist. I write lots of different articles. I'm working on a nonfiction book, and I have a a brand called Girl Boner, uh, which is uh, designed to empower women about their sexuality, which deals a lot of, with uh, body image and embracing not just uh, sexual pleasure, but sensuality in their lives. I think I heard that you have some kind of radio show tie-in coming up. I do, actually. You, you want to give us a, a, a exclusive sneak preview of that? Ooh, you know, it's actually already out. It is? But, oh, okay. yes, I can give you a little teaser of some, some things. We like coming. teasers, yes. Okay, so uh, my radio show is called Girl Boner Radio with August McLaughlin. And that alone will get you a lot of viewers, I think. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. It's actually, um, it's been in the number one between the number one and number three spots on the uh, iTunes New and Noteworthy list for over a month now, so I'm really excited about that, and we had really good um, downloads the first month. I started in January. Wonderful. So it's been going really well. I have lots of different guests. Um, the other day I interviewed, there's a show on Showtime called The Gigolos. It's a reality show about actual gigolos in Vegas, and so I interviewed one of the gigolos the other day at the studio. Um, I have uh, lots of different, you know, interesting topics coming up. They all relate somehow to female sexuality, but we keep it very upbeat and fun and funny. I share a lot of personal stories. I interview real women about their experiences. Um, I take uh, reader and listener questions, so you can tweet me or, you know, I have a girl on her blog as well. Is this your first novel? It is. Okay. And um, do you anticipate this is going to be a series of novels? You know, it's it's... Originally, it was going to be just a standalone, and... Oh, I've heard that so many times, people say originally. Then the, the fans start clamoring for <laughs> oh, wow. some kind of a sequel. Sure, sure. That does happen somewhat, which is really neat. Um, in addition, because my, you know, in my past life, uh, in this life, but before I became a writer, I was an actress, and so I 
did a lot of backstory study. Okay. Uh, so I'm uh, more of a, as they say, they say you're either a pants or a plotter. You fly by the seat of your pants. And ah, things. a pants or a plotter. Yeah. I think that's the first time I've heard that. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. I, but I like it. I like it. I like it, it too. Yeah, and yeah. I think most of us are somewhere in the middle, but we're, we tend to naturally gravitate toward one. Ah. And I gravitate towards being a pantser. So pantser. I like to sit down and just write, and I learn my characters as I go. Now, I've learned from, because then your first draft takes, it's, the, the price of that for me is a ton of revision, um, and there's a chance that you could get stuck and write yourself into a corner or off into Never Never Land. So now what I do is I just I make sure I have a direction. I know where I'm headed. I didn't know the ending of my story exactly until I got there, but I knew the main arc and I knew the characters pretty well. So I do a lot of daydreaming actually before. And um, and then as I write, things kind of come out and I, it, it's more in my head than, than actually anything written down. But usually I'll, you know, my, my last agent asked me for an outline, so I wrote the draft first and then I made an outline. So it just, you know, Whatever, whatever works, but I have a feeling I'll do a little, just loose, very flexible outlining for the next one. Well, uh, romantic thrillers, uh, erotic thrillers, and, and such are extremely uh, popular uh, these days. And um, some, some of the um, erotic thrillers may go a little bit over the top. Um, you've got this um, uh, tie-in with, psych with the uh, psychology of sex and such, and... So where, so where along the spectrum of uh, sexuality do you put your, your work? Well, in this one, the sexuality is more, there's sexual violence in this one. I see. Uh, the sequel, it's much more erotic. There's so you lot. are working on a sequel, we just got that spoof, huh? Yeah, there's, oh, there's, okay. a, there's a sequel, I've, I've written about half of it. Oh, And it's okay. just, it's on the side at the moment. But yeah, the sequel is, it just happened to be, I didn't, it wasn't something I tried to necessarily do, but in Five years later, one of the main the main character in that book, uh, there's a lot of uh, erotic events that happen. And after the halfway mark with your new sequel, how's it going? You know, right now it's on complete pause because I decided to really focus on my my nonfiction book. So my agent is shopping my girl boner book proposal to, to publishers right now, and so I'm really focused on that brand and, and building that. Is brand. the nonfiction? Book tied into the Girl Boner. Yeah, it's uh, called proposal. Girl Boner: uh, um, The Good Girl's Guide to Sexual Empowerment. Ah, it's one that sounds, memoir. Sounds like a book that every girl needs. You know, I think so. Thank Don't you, you very much. I, I sure hope uh, so. Yeah. We've got the sequel coming, and um, what's your uh, what's your your short term aspiration for your writing and your career? My short term aspiration for writing my career would be to. You know, there's so many things we don't necessarily have control over, like the timings of the things. Sure. So, you know, what what I really I want to have a publishing contract very soon, if possible. Right, <laughs> right. Book. But at the same time, I know that if it doesn't happen now, if it takes more time, then the best thing I can do is just work my butt up and and really do the work that feels authentic to me. So I have a a, a very active blog, a, a big blog following, which is fortunate. What's your website address? Uh, my main website is augustmclaughlin.com, okay. and my blog is augustmclaughlin.wordpress.com, but the links are all on my main site. All right. And so Mondays are my girl boner days that I do a series, and then sometimes I'll blog on another day during the week on whatever I want to. Um, so I, I do my radio show every week, wow. and I write articles, too, for lots of different publications. So it's kind of, I just try to really stay authentic and uh, be true to kind of what I feel compelled to speak well, about. Well, it sounds, it all sounds fascinating. Your book is great. I thank you for taking the time to uh, talk to all of us. And um, on behalf of myself, H.S. Clark, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this exclusive interview presented by H.S. Clark, author of Secret Thoughts, a medical thriller. For more interviews and information on Secret Thoughts, a medical thriller, visit hsclarkmystery.com.